If you read Positive Daily Inspiration, you'll often hear me talk about the harvest of good from God. And the harvest of good is the harvest of the Spirit. It says the fruit of the Spirit is a bountiful harvest of good. And then I read in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is... What is the fruit of the Spirit? It is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Through communion with God, you plant seeds that grow, and they grow into a fruitful harvest. The fruit of this harvest is the fruit of the Spirit, love, where you're more loving than you even thought that you could be because the love of God is flowing through you. Joy. It's one of the things of having a spiritual experience and awareness with God. You are always in a joyful mood. Peace. Even in a chaotic situation, you can have a power from within where you feel peace. Patience. Where even when everybody else is rushing and impatient, you find that you're patient and you realize that this is coming from God through you. Kindness, where you're kind to everyone, not just the people that like you, but also people that are kind of angry with you. <clears throat> Goodness. Goodness is a... Um, more than an action, it is something that you feel inside. It's like a wellness, a faithfulness, where you are constantly connected with God, a gentleness, where you just are not any, you don't have any rough edges anymore. You're a gentle person, a gentle man, a gentle woman, and then self-control. Isn't that a biggie to have at the end? To have control over yourself. To have something in you, through you, that is bigger than you. A bountiful harvest is something that we all wait for in the fields of our own mind and our own heart. We can use patience and kindness and goodness in all the interactions with others that we meet this day. We can be faithful and gentle and will exercise self-control. We can let the fruit of the Spirit, God's attributes within you, to come to the forefront in everything that we think, we say, and we do. And when we go to bed at night, well, there is a change. We lie down in perfect peace. The love and peace that filled us throughout the day clothe us safely round and keep us secure, and it keeps us secure all through the night. The day will be both a time of planting and reaping a bountiful harvest of God's good.